Never thought I'd be so far from home. But Kate, and today uh, it's a mystery what I would like to solve. And this is to getting back to my roots, where I'm originally from. As I had a conversation with my family in the UK, which are located in Cornwall, southwest of England, they said that my roots are going back to Scotland, and this is really interesting to find out. That's why I bought a DNA kit from Anchesty, and it's really interesting to find out what the results will be. It took me actually two weeks to get this kit here. It's a little bit investment with some traits. So it will be really interesting to see the results and I'm happy to share it with you. The other thing I'm really curious about what they will do with the provided information because this is the roots of your DNA and this should not be taken lightly to give this kind of information away. Yeah, so I will check it out what they will have in their AGBs what they are telling about how they protect your personal information. So now I'm just going to unpack this. Stay tuned for follow-up. <laughs> Here you got instructions and the manual how to use this kit. So I'm just unpacking this kit. So here we have a little box, it's for the response to send it back, to mail it back to Ireland actually. That's probably the laboratory where we will look for the results and check them. So here you have a kit for a tube, for a spit tube. So it's actually not more than only to spit in it and they can find out your traits and where you are actually from. It's really interesting only for your spit. Here we have a bag, I need to find out what this is for. And that's actually all. So it's not so complicated, it's really easy to do. So stay tuned to find out. So basically how this works is that you just have to spit in this tube. And when you need to this solution, put it on top. If you remove this here, this one first. And when you shake it, at least five seconds. And then it will preserve a sample of your spit. And then you can send it by mail back to the laboratory. In 10 weeks, I think I will have an answer. It's a long time, but yeah, it's worth the work, I guess, or worth the effort, at least. <laughs> That's a lot of spit you need to fill it with. Shouldn't be bubbles. Now it's just above the line or at the line. So this is how it should be. Remove this one. And then I should place this on top. Until release. So now it's mixed. Stabilized. Stabilization of the sample. So I hope everything is right. <laughs> That's done actually. So I just need to go to the post office and deliver it. Box. Here you have a sealed and done. This is the final moment. From here on, it's no way going back with a sample. <laughs> so I just need to get on and deliver it. Now everything is delivered at the post office, so it looks like it's going by airmail. That means that it will arrive really quick at the laboratory. So it will be interesting to see when I will get the results. I hope I will receive them while I'm still at home, so I can do the end video on this and share the results with you. So it's really interesting. I'm really excited about it. It has been a while since I filmed the first part. It was about last year in the summer season and now it's uh, it's March <laughs> 2023. And yeah, it took, took some time and I had a lot of other stuff to do. But finally, I am sharing the results with you. So I'm logging in on ancestry.com where you can see your DNA results. And my results are quite interesting. This was something I never expected. So you see the regions about my DNA. I have Iceland, Norway, Ireland, Germany, even east of Europe. And if I zoom more out, it was something before more an Africa region, but it's really slightly percentage. 
So here they claim I'm 54% uh, English, North and Western Europe. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the family tree I put in online, but it shouldn't be dependent on this, the result. So I'm 50% Scottish, 14% German, and even 7% Norwegian. This was really surprising for me. 5% Wales and 3% Ireland and 2% Jewish. I hope this video will help you to decide if you use Ancestry or my heritage. As you know, I also did some trades and <laughs> it was also quite interesting results here. Not everything is true, but most of it is true. So if you do a DNA test, I can highly recommend to do a trades. It's something about introversion, extroversion, morning or night person remembering dreams. It's less likely this is actually true. I don't always remember dreams. And nutrients, fitness, sensory, uh, appearance. It's also really interesting which hair type. Straight hair, it's actually true. Average hair thickness, it's also true. Lower chance of hair loss. That's really good, so I can go old and don't be bored. <laughs> yeah, so it has come to an end. Let me know what you think about this video. And I would also like to know if you did a similar test and what the results you are. So please hit down the comments and your keyboard to write it down. I would really like to hear about you or from your story. So see you in the next one. Have a nice day.